I have a very important question for you. If you were to release 24 rabbits on a great big island where there were previously no rabbits, after 60 years, how many rabbits would there be? How's it going everybody? I hope you and your investments are doing well. Um, that is just one of the questions that comes up in the great book um, Robert by uh, Robert R. Brown, Wealthing for Rabbits. I thought while we are watching the stock market take a bit of a dive, we'll just take a different direction in this video and talk about this book that I'm reading or that I have read that I think would be of um, interest to you that helps uh, reinforce some of our personal finance uh, decisions and help us stay a little bit more calm when the markets are being so turbulent. So yeah, I hope you guys uh, enjoy this video. My name is Steve Coleman and I'm a dividend investor buying some Canadian stocks using the Wealth Simple Trade app. So that way by the time the gray hair makes its full trip around my head, that I'll have a nice nest of passive income that I can tap into. Part of my investing journey is creating these videos, but that also part of my investing journey is to learn as much as I can from great resources such as books, podcasts, and other YouTube videos. So I want to take a moment and talk to you about what I've learned recently. Wealthy for Rabbits was one of the first books I picked up in the spring of this year when I first started my investing journey. And I gotta say the first thing that I really, really love about this book is that it is completely from a Canadian perspective, unlike other books that were written from some great American authors. So all the terms that are used in this book, such as a tax-free savings account, a TFCA, um, are relatable versus when in other books, they mentioned like, you know, the Roth IRA, which I guess is the American equivalent. So you don't have to kind of do any kind of that translation in your head when you're reading it. It's all in Canadian terms. There's even a chapter called Lessons in Savings from the Toronto Maple Leafs. So yeah, you can't get more Canadian than that. This book I would say is probably best geared to somebody in their 20s or their early 30s. Someone who's really just starting out a little more on their investment journey where they have a longer runway of how many years they're gonna be investing. Um, as someone in their 40s, I still really enjoyed this book because there were parts of it that just reaffirmed um, some of the financial decisions that I've made in my life, my family's made in our lives, about just you know the importance of kind of keeping your debt under control, as well as like there's a whole section on just mortgages and houses and just, in our case, we did not overextend ourselves at all when we bought our house and just obviously got, we got a mortgage then that was manageable enough that we were able to kind of to grow our savings and therefore invest um, th th that remainder um, as a result. The section that goes over a tax-free savings account and an RRSP, I think would be of interest to the younger generation, especially since they're dealing with this whole housing crisis that the house, housing is so expensive. And so this chapter kind of puts everything on a balancing act or balancing scale um, of where, you know, do you have to choose one over the other? And just reading the subsequent chapters, you can, you'll come to the conclusion that, you know, you don't have to sacrifice one over the other. Um, he comes out, the author comes out strongly against, you know, leveraging, taking money out of your RRSP to put towards a down payment on your house. He really strongly opinioned on, you know, that retirement savings that is for your future you, not to be used to buying a house. But if you apply some of the knowledge and especially trying to keep your debt down, you might help avoid putting yourself in that situation um, in the first place as well, you know, starting some of those great saving habits earlier you know, again, will put you further ahead where you're gonna have enough because you're gonna have the great discipline of saving to have enough for your a mortgage to buy your first home, as well as to have some to kind of put towards your retirement savings as well. This is not a book that's gonna help you buy the next stock. Um, it's not that kind of book. It is a witty, humorous, broad overview from a Canadian perspective of the world of personal finance and it's just a great 
introductory course for anybody. It will leave you with a greater respect for how important it is to properly manage your money. And probably any reader is going to walk away with a f one or two actionable ideas that they can implement right away and make some significant changes to how they finance their lives and all for the better. I highly recommend this book to anybody in their 20s and 30s as you'll have the most to gain from it. Anyone older is still gonna find that there's still a lot of wisdom that they can glean from this book, um, especially this chapter, The Opportunity Cost of Spending Decisions, where that's probably, you'll find that one of the most relatable, um, looking back on your life and then even looking, being able to make some decisions going forward. Um, but then everybody is gonna enjoy the fun pop culture references and the fun little stories that he interweaves to kind of get his point across. Um, which leads me back to the opening question about the rabbits, which I don't want to spoil um, what the author has to say or what the answer is. Um, so you got to pick up the book for yourself, which I highly recommend. I will say that, I just want to get this out there, that this, this video is not sponsored. Um, I'm going to include a link in the description where you can pick up this book for yourself, but it is not an affiliate link. I'm not, I would not get it, receive any money for you checking out this book purchasing it. I just honestly think this is a great book for anybody um, Canadian, Canadian who has money, which basically is everybody. Um, it, I def highly, highly recommend this book, Wealthy for Rabbits. I'd be really curious if anyone else has read this book. So please leave a comment. Let me know what you thought of the book, if, who you think it's appropriate for. As well, let me know what books you're reading because I would be more than willing to check it out, read it, give it a good read, and um, let me know what you learned from it so that way I can kind of keep my eye open for that bit of a uh, nugget of wisdom. So because I'm on this journey with you, I'm learning as I go, and yeah, reading the books is a great, um, great resource for all of us to learn from, you know, the wisdom of others, you know, they, they compiled it all nicely in a great package, humorous, fun package. So if you like this video, give me a, give it, don't forget to give it a like. That lets me know if I can generate more content like this. I've read a few other books that I'd like to kind of review as well with you. Again, I'm not making any money off of um, doing this. I just want to really share some of, the, some of this knowledge with you as well. So the like lets me know if you enjoy this kind of content. So I'll, I'll just keep pumping it out because I have read quite a few books since uh, April. I think it was April when I first picked this one up. So your feedback is is well received. I, I love it. So um, that that's it. Guys, con this concludes this video. I um, hope you are staying safe. Keep it in the green and we'll see you in the next video. Take care. Bye.